If you like playing a lot of online games, you may have seen games like Space Bar Clicker or or Piggy Bank Clicker. So my goal in this video is to try to recreate one of those games in Scratch and maybe to teach you how to do it too if you want to try it. So first what I want to first what I want to do is let's get Actually, here, we have one right here. It's fine. So, we're just going to get a sprite. Now, we want... This could be the button, right? So, for the first one, let's just make a button. Pretty simple, I don't know. Let's get a square. Uh, and let's color it like a like the space bar, I guess. You can design them however you like, but... It's, I'm just kind of doing whatever. So here we have like a nice outline. Wait, let's make it a little bigger. Let's make it a little bit more colorful. There we go. Uh, let's get some text space bar. This, uh, this all everything you said in this video also works for if you want to do like a clicker game. But for this one, I'm just trying to show just how to make something. I'll, I'll let you know when you can have variables you can change to make it for like a different button. So here we have the space bar, and now we want to make it look nice. So just like in space bar clicker, we'll add maybe a little animation, like a oopsies. Okay, maybe if we send this, we make a little design on the back layer. Set it to the back, and maybe we color it with a little bit of shading. Just like that. Alright, so it can start with this one, and then we can press it to this one. So, there you go, now we have a cool spacebar button. Now that we have the spacebar button, uh, you can decorate everything however you like, but let's get started with the code. So first we'll do one the flag is clicked, let's go to variables, and we can make a new variable. Let's do presses or click. This doesn't really matter, just um, you just have to make a variable with a name. So we'll set the variable to zero. And uh, now that we have that, we can go up here and we'll go right here. Where it is. So this is where you can change if you want to do a click. Just do a click. It could be work with anybody. No, I'm just gonna do a space. When space is pressed, then we're going to go here. You know, change the pressed by one, and we will make this eight. And now, since we added that nice little animation, we can go... First, we want to set so when it's pressed, it'll also start back on the original costume. So we'll make it switch the costume of the spacebar to costume number two. Well, it says number one, but it's number two. I'll change that just so you guys can understand better. This one is two. This one is one. Change back. Okay, two. Now, see, now it's this costume, too. And then we want it to wait a amount of time before it does it again. So we'll lower maybe 0 0.5 seconds. And then we want it to change it back to costume one. Now, if we test it, we're just gonna do space. It's gonna change the score. Okay, here. So, Actually, we don't need the forever loop because all we want to do is I go, it's pressed, press it again, and then we just keep pressing, and then it'll just keep going on. Now, if you want this to like, have no delay, you can just remove it, and then you can just have no delay of the button. 
but it just may not have the animation. Uh, but uh, here maybe if we could lower the time, 0.1 seconds. If you if you really want the animation, you can go, and it'll still do it pretty fast. And yeah, you can design this however you like. You can add a little bit of a background, and if you want like another part to this to show how to add more variables like in like any of those spacebar or the like piggy bank or all those like clicker pressing games I can show you how to do like upgrades to make you know maybe it'll when you have an upgrade it'll go twice as fast or um, all of that stuff but this is pretty much just the basic how to do it um, so yeah if you want to see a part two let me know, and if you uh, if you use this to help make your game, then uh, you can like give credit to me. Optional, don't need, but so is appreciated. Um, anyway, uh, goodbye. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, if you just wanna uh, have like a reference to the code, it'll be right here. Uh, the link will be in the description. Uh, bye.